US President Joe Biden is expected to use the killing of Hamas chief Yahya Sinwar to urge Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to wind down the war in Gaza. However, with the United States presidential elections approaching, Biden may lack the leverage to compel Netanyahu. Sinwar was a mastermind behind Hamas's 7th of October attack on Israel. His death raises hopes for renewed negotiations for a ceasefire and hostage deal that Biden has long sought. But the path to such an outcome is uncertain. Biden faces multiple interlocking crises in the Middle East. His efforts to achieve peace in Gaza are complicated by Israel's ongoing conflict with Hezbollah in Lebanon and preparations to retaliate against Iran. Iran supports both Hezbollah and Hamas, adding to the complexity of the situation. A former US national intelligence officer in the Middle East reportedly stated that a Sinwar's death could open renewed opportunity for Biden to pressure Netanyahu to implement a ceasefire deal. However, the potential for a deal depends on Hamas's new leadership and Netanyahu's willingness to negotiate. With the 5th of November US election approaching, Biden may struggle to influence Netanyahu's decisions. The Biden administration recently warned Israel to improve the humanitarian situation in Gaza or face possible restrictions on US military aid. It remains unclear how strongly the US is prepared to act on this warning. Some analysts believe Netanyahu might prefer to wait out Biden's term and engage with the next US president, whether it's Democratic candidate Vice President Kamala Harris or Republican Donald Trump, with who he has close ties. The White House has not commented on the challenges that Biden faces. A former State Department official expressed skepticism that Netanyahu would respond to renewed pressure from Biden to resume negotiations for peace in Gaza. The Biden administration has blamed Sinwar for obstructing a truce and a hostage exchange. Despite this, some US officials have privately criticized Netanyahu for his inflexibility and shifting demands influenced by far-right members of his coalition. Netanyahu quickly declared that Sinbar's death settled the score with Hamas while insisting the war in Gaza continues until hostages are returned. Following Sinbar's death, Biden expressed support for Israel's right to eliminate Hamas but indicated he would discuss a pathway for ending the war with Netanyahu. Analysts suggest Sinbar's death could provide Netanyahu with political cover to negotiate more flexibly. However, any move to strike a deal with Hamas is likely to meet strong resistance from the far-right cabinet members who oppose previous proposals. The future leadership of Hamas remains uncertain. Sinwar had significant influence within the organization and his potential successors do not share the same standing. It is unclear who will represent Hamas in negotiations or make decisions moving forward. Experts noted the challenge of executing a ceasefire with Hamas's command and control structures in disarray. From the Israeli perspective, some analysts believe now may be the time to intensify attacks against Hamas. Without a clear leader, the potential for escalation in the conflict could increase.